I have no idea. Some costume, huh? I'll say. Any idea how she got in here? No, the door was locked as usual. That's strange. Yeah, we can't ask Robo, his batteries are dead. Well, looks like there's only one way to find out. We'll have to wake her up. On second thought, maybe you better do it. If the first thing she sees when she wakes up is my face, then, well, she'll pass out again and we'll be no better off. <laughs> All right. Hello? Excuse me, it's time to wake up. Hey, Christiana, that's not count long enough. What? That was not Christiana. What is that done with the prince and princess? Prince? Princess? I assure you, madam, we haven't done anything with anybody, but how did you get in here? That is what I would like to know. For I was at play in the, with the royal children, when suddenly I found myself walking to this most uncommon room. Oh, and I was greeted by yonder strange-looking knight. Are you sure the door was locked? Yes, I'm sure. I'm not just the costume. Is there a renaissance festival going on? Costume? Nay, this is not a costume. This is one of my finest gowns. In fact, in all the kingdoms, there's none left of it. Kingdom, huh? And I suppose they live in a castle. Of course, the castle at Fairmore. Right, the castle at Fairmore. I think we're all live on here, Professor. Live one? I do not catch your meaning, fair maiden. Fair maiden? Okay, cool. The Shakespeare, please. I just had a bad thought. Say, madam, you didn't happen to come through that door, did you? Of course. How else would I have gotten? Wait, what are you thinking? And what is your name? I thought that was never asked. I'm Queen Josephine, wife of Edward the Gallant, king of Eskeland and all his territories. I was afraid of that. And afraid thou shouldst be, when the king finds out that I need help Catholic, he sends all of his mighty men to fight for me. Now, pray, what does thou think of that? It was the machine. What do you mean it was the machine? It was the machine that brought her here. No, uh, I, I don't know, it was some sort of malfunction or something. I cry you mercy. Did thou hearken to what I just said? It, yeah, something about all the king's horses and all the king's men. Nay, hey, that would be up to you, don't believe her. But thou please focus. I'm sorry, we're just a little distracted at the moment. So you're telling me that we actually have a real live queen here? Of course I'm real. I am Queen Josephine, wife of Edward the Gallant, and King of Bethlehem in all its territory. This is insane! What are we going to do? Well, please, let me wrap up the by telling me who thou art, where I am, and what thou wantest from me. I just don't understand how this could happen. Happy New Year! <laughs> Very small, minute, 
Ms. Gill, he tied me and we... Thank you, Tin Man. I think we get the picture. <laughs> so, it might understand that last night, I, Queen Josephine, wife of Edward the Gallant, King of Thessalon and all its territory, was asleep atop millions and millions of teeny weeny bugs? That's right. That is absolutely revolting. And that's not the worst of it, lady. These eggs are just about to hatch. And when they do, don't want to be your rant. Trust me. That's it. I'm leaving this castle immediately. No way, you're not to come back. Stop her. She can't leave the building. You don't want to miss a party, do you? Party? A social gathering of invited guests uh, consisting of food and entertainment. I've never been to a party before. <laughs> Perhaps I could do the robot. <laughs> What's going on around here? She's gone. Now what do we do? 
Computer? Yes, how may I help you? Call the police. We have a missing person. She is dressed in a Renaissance dress, and she answers to the name Queen Josephine. Ha 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 ha, that's a funny joke. Did you hear the one about why cats can't use computers? <laughs> what? Because they only want to chase the mouse. <laughs> Computer, this is serious. Call the police now, please. Run away, Professor. Oh, dear. <laughs> Let's go.